Hello everybody, Rune Guidance of the Norse here, and many of you know that I am located in South Florida. Now I am not a native of South Florida. I've only lived here for maybe about 25 years or so. Originally I am from Niagara Falls, an incredibly magical place, born and raised there. But anyway, I digress, Florida. Also, many of you are well aware that the focus of my practice involves working with animal allies, animal energies, and bones, and that type of connection to the land. Now, being in Florida, alligator is a huge ally. Well, at least it can be if we engage and build that type of relationship with that animal. However, we have something else in Florida that many people are not aware of, and that is the crocodile. Did you know that? The American crocodile does live, exist, and grow in Florida. And it was believed for a while there that they thought maybe it was extinct or getting extinct. Uh, because it is very rare. However, where I am in South Florida, uh, the crocodile is not an entirely uncommon experience to see and to find and to even interact with. I believe they're making a comeback and that makes me so, 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 so happy. Now, if you're in the wild, how do you tell difference. Many of you know you're aware of the skull shape differences, which you can see even if you're viewing looking down into the water and you see that part submerged out of the water. The, the head, the mouth, the skull shape of an alligator is much more of a U and a crocodile is much more of a V. That's the main difference in how to distinguish them from uh, each other if you're just in the wild and you're observing these amazing creatures. Now, of course, there are many differences, but that's the main one that most people are familiar with. Another way to tell, because oftentimes if you are blessed, and I say blessed enough to see either one of these animals in the wild, oftentimes it is because they have chosen to reveal themselves by sunning on a bank of any uh, little puddle of water. They will be up near the water, laying there, relaxing. And because of that, you get a glimpse. Now, how you can tell another way uh, their difference is, is their teeth. Now, you might be saying, what the heck? I don't want to be seeing their teeth. But when their mouths are closed, alligators have an overbite. That's why they have that U-shape uh, mouth, jaw, skull shape. They have an overbite and their teeth are on the outside of their mouth and you'll see their fangs coming down. Now with a crocodile, they actually have inclusion that overcrosses. So if you are seeing teeth coming up from the bottom jaw as well as teeth from the top, that most likely could be a crocodile and you, my friend, have been given a gift by observing them.